favourite things to do is mountain biking and one of my favourite animals is a hawk. Bye. Hi, my name's Zach, I love Lego and my favourite animal is a peregrine falcon. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, I love running and I love dogs. Hi, my name's Kayla, I love swimming and my favourite animal is seals. Hi, my name's Kodo. My favourite thing to do is being on holidays and my favourite animal is golden retriever puppies. Hi, my name's Archie and my favourite thing to do is uh, feed baby lambs and my favourite animal is a horse. Hi, I'm on Corbin and I love myself and I love retrievers. Welcome to Seal Rescue Ireland in County Wexford. We're delighted to have you here today. I'm the Education Manager and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about seals. Come on inside. Okay, welcome to Seal Rescue Ireland in County Wexford. My name is Kristen, I'm the education manager here. Um, so we would like to tell you a little bit more about some seals. Do you guys want to learn a little bit more about seals? Yeah! yeah. Awesome! Okay, so we have two different native species of seal here in Ireland. Can anybody tell me one of the species? Yes! Yeah. Common seals? Common seals, yes! White seals, good guess. It is a color, um, but it's not quite called a white seal. Any other guesses? Yep. A, a gray seal? A gray seal, exactly. You got it. Very good. So there's a few differences between our common seals and our gray seals. The gray seals are much larger in size. They are a little bit louder, a little bit more aggressive, and they have a long snout. Their face looks a little bit more like a dog. The common seals are a lot smaller in size. Right? They're a little bit more shy and reserved, um, and they also have a shorter muzzle, and they look a bit more cat-like in their face. Um, the pups are quite different as well. So the gray seal pups are born with a white fluffy fur called lanugo, and they just have that for the first three weeks, and they shed it off then once they're ready to go learn how to hunt all by themselves. But the common seals are born with their waterproof fur right from the start, so they can spend time swimming with mum and learning with her how to hunt for fish. So one has a little bit more hands-on parenting, the other one very, very hands-off. <laughs> so seals are mammals. Can anyone think of things that makes a mammal a mammal? Yeah. Full and hail. Yeah. Uh, but they drink milk from their mom. Good. And they come out of their mom's stomach and not from an egg. That's what makes them mammals. They're warm blooded. They breathe oxygen so they can breathe under water. You got it. So all animals have different superpowers that make them fit for surviving in the wild. We call these adaptations. So can anyone think of any adaptations the seal might need? Underwater, holding their breath for underwater. Yeah, definitely. Their fins. Yeah, definitely. What do the fins do? And um, they make them swim really fast. Yeah, very Help good. Them, yeah. Yeah. And their blubber and um, keeps them warm. Absolutely. And uh, what about fur? Yeah, really good. Sharp teeth. Yeah, what are the teeth for? Um, to eat fresh. Yeah, very good. So at Seal Rescue Ireland, we're all about the three R's, okay? So we rescue seals, we rehabilitate them, and we release them back out into the wild. So we make them feel better, and then they go back out to their home. But can you guys think of any reasons why we might need to rescue seals in the first place? Is it because of pollution? Absolutely, yes. Pollution is a big factor. Um, what kind of pollution do you think might be a problem for a seal? Uh, crisp packets. Plastic? Definitely, yeah. Plastic is a big one. Chemicals getting into the water as well is another type of pollution that can be really harmful to seals. Any other reasons why a seal might need help? Yeah. Um, like 
like storms, big storms, because it smash them against the rocks and make them um, soar and like break their bones or something. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Storms can be a really big problem for a young seal pup who's just learning how to swim. And we're seeing more and more storms and bigger storms than ever because of climate change. So more seals are having to get injured and having to be rescued because of it. Yeah, any other reasons? Uh, like if people are coming over to the pups and stuff, like helping the pups, they don't need help. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that can be a really big problem as well. If they're really little and there's too many people coming up to them or dogs, it can cause a big disturbance and it can actually scare mum off so that she won't come back to feed her pup. So that would be a big problem. Very good. Very good. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> herring. Herring. Mm. Yes, herring. Yeah. So it's a nice fish. Have a feel of it. So it's a nice fish for our seals to eat um, because it's very high in fat. Uh, very Yay. fatty fish. Yeah, it helps them to eat and gain some weight. And it's nice and easy for them to swallow as it's well. It's really cold. Okay, so we're going to put it in the bowl. Eyes. You can touch its eye if you want. <laughs> it's a bit squishy. Can I touch it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be feeding sea otter. He's one of our male grey seals. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to throw the fish in one at a time, give him a chance to go and find it and search for it in the pool. So that one was a little bit too far. <laughs> oh, it's still there, actually. It's still there. At Seal Rescue Island, they have about 20 seals. Each of the seals needs a lot of care, food, and attention. If you want to find out more about seals, check out the website. That's all from us, and don't forget to be, be happy out! Una, na, una. Yeah! What about it?